Hey, this is Mason again with another segment of Black Lies Matter. Black Lies, the lies that have been percolating for a year in the nation, not just the black community, in the nation. Black Lies started with the hands up, don't shoot, and Michael Brown, when that witness lied to the press, and the press took that lie and made it into a scenario they wanted to have. Cops shot black man in the back. Unarmed teenagers murdered by a police officer. All the garbage. And the Black Lives Matter people found a lot of money in doing that. They became famous. They became powerful. They became influential. So they began to express themselves in demonstration and cutting up freeways and, de and delaying traffic and going from city to city. They found money. People paid their way. A lot of money in protesting. Uh, we knew in St. Louis, the hotels were full of people traveling in in great clothes and changing to their thug outfits to go out and demonstrate and protest. Black lives was a lie. The Michael Brown, hands up, don't shoot lie. Even Eric Holder's uh, investigation, even his own autopsy showed he was not an innocent bystander. He was not shot in the back. Even a family who hired one of the best pathologists in the world, determined he was not shot in the back. It does not matter. Black lives still believe there was something happening. The folks, the problem with Trayvon Martin and the problem with Michael Brown is the same problem. Don't hit a grown man who's carrying a gun, cop or no cop. Don't hit a grown man carrying a gun. Now, the problem exists now, folks, because they're getting paid money. Black lives are now influential. They're now powerful. They have influence now. And they're gaining money from outside sources to create habit. Who do you think are making the professionally made signs in Ferguson? We know black and white folks know it's a lie. And we're getting tired. America is getting tired of the garbage and nonsense from you black lives people. We're tired. You act like white folks are superior to you. You're acting like you believe in white superiority. You think that every problem you have requires white folks to do something, like a child and their daddy. You need a higher increase in your wages. You demand a minimum wage increase, not a maximum wage increase. You desire better housing in your neighborhood. You demand that master gives you a better housing, low income, low income housing, not high income housing. So folks, if every problem you have requires white folks to do something, you think that you are inferior to them. So I'm telling you, Black Lives Matter people, you are free. I fought in the civil rights movement in the 60s. I demonstrated, I protested for civil rights. Civil rights, the right to compete against everyone in America. I now compete, I now raise my grandkids to compete. I am free and I act like I'm free. I'm also a Vietnam veteran. I love my country. I love my flag. I love the opportunities available here in America. And you're not going to destroy that. Me and white men will stand together shoulder to shoulder to protest and demonstrate you and push you back. You're not going to win this. We're not going to have you bring down our nation because you want to enrich yourselves. You want to protest? Protest those horrible schools your kids are going to turn out gang members instead of scholars. You want to protest? Protest those black politicians in your community that have been in charge for decades and turn out nothing but more poverty for you. You want to protest? Protest the ability to get up and go to work and learn how to make money. If you want to protest, protest your radio station today that broadcasts this rap music degrading women, degrading family, and glorifying drinking and drugs. You want to protest something, protest your inability to see the opportunities you have in America. This is Mason. Stay right or be left because black lies do matter.